Hi there, sign of Virgo. This is Kim here to do your reading for you. And this reading is going to be for the next 48 hours. So I hope you're doing really good. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe. It helps the channel out and I appreciate it. Um, we're getting into your reading. And I ask that your spirit guides and your angels join us. Give us messages for the greater good sign of Virgo. Virgo, what's going on? What's going on, Virgo? Shaman's dream. That's what I'm pulling from first. Oh my gosh. What's going on? Huh. Limitless possibility is what's going on. Stars in the sky. Look, and then there's a sky one too on the bottom. Oh my gosh, sky writing the fates. Guys, this is it. This is it. This is it. This is your message. <laughs> 49 and 51. I'm going to put it like that because, oh my goodness. How many stars are there in the sky? Let me count them and see. Stars in the sky, limitless possibility and embracing opportunity. It says you've only seen a glimpse of what's to be. There are things coming to you um, that are, are going to provide endless opportunities. Um, a limitless possibility here never-ending sea of potential it says the universe has its own ideas of how to serve you <laughs> trust this as a fact though rather than a theory that the things you need are coming to you as I speak you might want to look in the sky sky writing the fates I'm gonna read the whole um, card for sky writing the fates oh my gosh Sky writing, sky writing, sky writing, the fates, that which we cannot change, non-judgment. It is written in the sky that you have a destiny here. It says that doesn't mean that your path will always be easy or paved with gold or even littered with diamonds. But there's neither good nor bad. It's just your path. <laughs> Parts some that cannot be changed and others radically accepted as they are. It says, but right now you're facing a critical moment in time with opportunity to meet your fate. A choice, paint, choice point where you can expand your influence and your capacity for abundance, love, and purposeful action. Now is the moment to leap into it. Whether this be a heart connection a call to creativity or new identity in your work or any other area of life with all your heart and soul. Your success is surely written in the stars. Let's say that again. Your success is surely written in the stars. In order to bring this destination to fruition, you must jump into the adventure with both feet. Jump in, leap into this adventure. Wow. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Let's put that. Let's put the uh, amethyst there. Nice. Nice energy, guys. Nice energy. Let's go into the Mystical Medley's Tarot. And um, let's pull a tarot reading for our Virgos. Then at the end, I'll pull um, some... Some other cards, probably the affirmation cards. I like those. They've been they've been doing well. Time to get going. Time to get going. What's the situation for our Virgos? What's the situation for our Virgos? Oh well. <laughs> Definitely fighting for it. Hmm.
Virgos. Well, you're freeing your mind, getting away from, um, there's a personality here that is not very good with emotions. They're quite detached. That's what this five of pentacle energy is. Um, it may be how somebody is dealing with their, their problems or their emotions. They may seem really, really detached because they may feel detached from emotions. Uh, may have a lot of worry on their mind. This could be about somebody's about dealing with like a Libra energy or possibly um, Taurus energy. But it's like they can't interrupt. This person can't interrupt what you have with love. You have a lot. You have a big family with love. Um, and you have all that you could ever need. You are not wanting to fight or get, con you know, you're, it's like you're not conflicted of this. You know what you love. You know what you want. This energy right here is not, I don't even think that's your energy. Or if it is, it's representing a temporary situation that feels like it's uh, very detached or making you feel detached. Let's get um, more... Let me get more energy here. Why? Um, give me another deck. Let me see. I'm going to grab the original tarot deck. All right. Um, Spirit, what's going on with this Queen of Swords in reverse? Is this a manipulative person or is this somebody who's just really not in touch with their emotions? Once again, freeing your mind. That was what was on the bottom. Oh, now I have Nine of Pentacles. We have strong Capricorn right here with the devil energy. Virgo, this is you, your shadow, and freeing your mind from this temporary this temporary situation, your shadow side is trying to make it bigger than what it is. It can't interfere now that you've stopped feeling guilty for literally taking care of yourself and, and, and being happy with your love, like with what you have here. What's the five of swords about not wanting to conflict or have arguments about? I, I see somebody really becoming very dang seriously willing to fight for it nothing's going to disturb your peace nothing is going to disturb your peace and certainly somebody else's vices or addictions is not going to stop your family's uh ten of cups here you get ten of cups <laughs> the love it it solves this situation whatever was conflicting it, it's gone it's gone this energy is gone because of the ten of cups ten ten is a big sign saying, guys, just hang on there. If you're waiting, you're waiting to get out of this Five of Pentacle energy, hang on. Love first, everything else will follow. Love first, everything else will follow. And the Nine of Pentacles on the bottom, I mean, self-reliant. <laughs> it's, it's a good energy. So... So let's get some spirit advice then on how, to, if it looks like you are dealing with this well. Like I said, not holding any, like, not holding any guilt, not holding on to any guilt, or, or this is how it should be. No, we're not doing that. So what's advice to Virgo regarding this energy? Heal old wounds. Heal old wounds. Repair something. Something needs repaired. Put something to rest. Putting something to rest. And it could be like two fam... Ugh. Could two families maybe taking time apart here. Not wanting to conflict. Not wanting to fight. Are they coming together here in divine timing, these two families? Because something's being healed. 
That is what it feels like, guys. That's what it really, really feels like to me. Um, <laughs> sad squirrel in the reverse. So you're you're happy. You're trying to see this perspective as something good. Even if it doesn't make you happy, you're trying to see it from a different you know, outlook. You're trying to have a different perspective. You're trying to see the silver lining. Like I say, you're not wanting to fight over something or argue. Any more advice? So they're saying keep an eye on that perspective. Get more information. Possibly somebody getting information regarding, well, a big decision coming up. You're at a crossroads. This information that you get it can change everything. It can change how you decide uh, on this huge decision with the lover's energy. It can, it can decide, you know, which way you go. They're saying you need more information here. Um, there's new opportunities to, or new ways to make money to, like they're saying, they keep on saying, bring the love, bring in the prayers and the love, and then the money and everything else will follow. All right, I think I'm done with the tarot. You know, I think I'm going to turn to um, some affirmation cards. Repairing the veil is on the bottom of uh, this other deck that I'm kind of looking at right now, To Repairing the veil. I thought that this was something different than before. Hmm. family love isn't it oh yeah, well, it's and it's the i am love sorry it's the i am love card i am dearly loved and surrounded by love i mean something to others and i exist for a reason my relationships are a correct and appropriate part of god's plan nice 40 understand gaia understand that within gaia there is a beautiful system that enhances each human who sees and feels it. And as you understand Gaia, you connect with the creator of all things. Nice, guys. Really good reading for you all, Virgo. Excuse me. Sneeze. Sneeze. Lead the way, they're saying. Take the reins today. Others will follow if you lead the way. Free your mind. And the sunrise, after this dark time, sunrise, every sunrise sings a song. Don't worry, be happy, just sing along. Yep. All right, that's what I've got for you all. Sending you love and light. Bye, Virgo.